Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Tiffany, Gucci, Christian Dior, and Coach, just to name a few. You can just buy Chanel and just then buy Dior. The luxury market has an eager buyer in town, the Chinese tourist, and they're bringing big bucks to the U.S., snapping up fancy, high-priced goods. And the high-end shops are doing just about everything they can to attract the Chinese customer who has newly acquired deep pockets. Over the last 12 months, we've seen an uptick. I think there's been so much wealth created there over the last decade that a lot of Chinese citizens are getting out and shopping more and having more experiences outside of China. High-end retailers like Bergdorf Goodman will go to extra lengths, such as holding a private fashion show at its Fifth Avenue store, followed by drinks with designers Oscar de la Renta, Diane von Furstenberg, and others, giving Chinese customers the chance to shop privately in the store after hours, accompanied by Mandarin-speaking staff. Chinese customers generally like to um, deal with somebody that has a cultural sensibility and understands some of the preferences in terms of modesty, in terms of style, and ultimately, at the end of the day, they would like someone who they speaks their language. We've had over 300,000 Chinese visitors to New York. That means jobs, that means budget, that means a lot to us. They're more comfortable with Cantonese and Mandarin we ought to take the time to make them feel comfortable. Mont Blanc, known for creating some of the finest pens in the world, hosted a private concert with pianist Lang Lang at its New York flagship store. We today not only offer special products, which are interesting to the Chinese, but also services like our staff speaks uh, Chinese. Speaking Mandarin was a valuable skill to have when it came to landing the job. It certainly uh, make me stand out of all the other candidates here. We have a lot of um, clients from mainland China that, uh, that seems more open uh, to having a, a, someone who speaks Chinese to help them understand our product. The product includes this Year of the Dragon pen and brochures printed in Mandarin and wallets custom fit to hold Chinese yuan and American dollars, which they need fewer of when shopping in the U.S. Expensive, uh, like luxury goods, is much cheaper. That's because of China's added taxes on imports and consumption. There is also more on offer when it comes to the high-end names. On average, Chinese buyers spend more than other tourists shelling out about $6,000 on each visit, as opposed to about $4,000 other tourists spend. And when it comes to their favorite activity, the U.S. Travel Association says shopping tops the list.